you, Mark, um, and thank you uh, for having being the host here and having these wonderful uh, surroundings. Thank you, everybody, um, for joining us here to recognize Florida's commitment um, to the statewide residency program and graduate medical education. We've done, this is the third um, event we've done around the state. Every event is different. We were in Orlando, we were in Miami, and just like our football team, you're showing it up. So uh, go team, go. I'm really uh, excited to have everybody here, so thank you for that. Each event is somewhat different, and what's exciting about this, uh, as the Secretary for the Agency for Healthcare Administration, I'm responsible for not only the Medicaid program, but for all the facilities that provide services. So we, we deal with the funding of and the provision of services. And one of the things that I've always noticed is that we've got great hospitals that serve everything from you know, general acute care to, to trauma services, just like here at the hospital. And we've got great programs. What we need to do is continue to have better programs and that means to provide education um, and to have residents who will want to stay here. All part of improvement to the economy. So we'd be dealing with all those things that are important to Florida. Uh, jobs, education, and quality of care. We highlight the funding, um, $80 million that's been shared among 43 hospitals, all of whom have residency programs, and this is an equitable distribution, um, maybe a change from before, recognizing who has residents and how many residents they have. We've had the support statewide um, of things of entities like Florida Tax Watch, Associated Industries of Florida, the Florida Chamber of Commerce, and I want to thank um, Governor Scott for his support on this, as well as our local legislators who have been great. This has been very, very important. You will hear from, um, see some of our residents, but you'll hear from Dr. Marlissa Edwards, who I believe is a third year resident here at Tallahassee Memorial. And she will talk to us about uh, what, this, what programs and residency programs have meant to her. Uh, if we have any graduates of the residency program here, I'd love if you would uh, raise your hand. Yay, back here. Um, thank you, and thank you for taking the time um, to be here. Uh, I think you heard a little bit earlier that the Tallahassee Memorial Family Medicine Residency Program began educating physicians in 1973. I believe it's graduated about 320 from the program, and of that number, 135 began practicing in Tallahassee. That's wonderful. I want to thank um, Dr. Fogarty for being here, uh, for being here as the Dean of Florida State University's College of Medicine. I had an opportunity a few years back to go through, if you will, um, what a resident goes through. Not all of the details if I wouldn't have graduated, but I did walk out with a, a white coat. Um, I can't remember where I got to go to uh, practice. It wasn't in Florida and I was a little disappointed. So uh, thank you again for what's going on um, here and supporting this program. I want to turn the program over, the podium over to Senator Bill Montford, who actually not only is a longtime advocate for education in the Big Bend area, the Big Bend area in general, but really has an idea about what's going on because he's the vice chair of the Appropriations Subcommittee on Education. And I think he'll be able to tell us what that means for the legislature and for him. So, Senator.